Howdy folks, Andy Tran here with Inner Bark Outdoors. In this video, I'm gonna go over my backpack setup. If you've been uh, following the channel for a while, you'll know that I usually run the Everly Stock Half Track Backpack. This is a backpack that I've had for several years and I've put hundreds of miles on it. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you pretty much how I laid it out because unfortunately I see a lot of people out there with Molly webbing on their backpacks, but no pouches or anything attached to it. So hopefully this video kind of gets some gears turning and inspires you to really get a nice efficient setup for exactly what you're gonna be doing out there. So on the left side of my belt, I have most of the things that I carry on it because I wanna keep my dominant hand uh, free of items just in case I need to use it really quick. So inside here, I pretty much have things that I need most often. So if anyone knows me, I eat a lot, a lot. So I have uh, tons of snacks. In this case, I have mixed nuts and raisins uh, because it's nature's energy food and it's inexpensive. I have a battery bank. This is the Dark Energy Poseidon. And uh, I have a link to this in the description because I had a sweet review on it. Love this thing. Uh, pretty much if I need to charge anything, I can quickly go with this one or if I need a quick light, then uh, this will provide a little bit of light as well. Headlamp is always important. This one is the Through Night TH10. Uh, I'm choosing to use this one because it's a lot brighter. And so if I'm doing any night hiking, then this thing is rock and roll. Sunglasses, especially now that it is uh, snowy outside, there's lots of reflective light. So I have uh, my ballistic ESS eyewear and also a couple interchangeable lenses for different lighting conditions. And so, you know, summer or winter, uh, always carry a pair of sunglasses, protects your eyes. Uh, Kilo 2000, so this is for ranging uh, targets and also for navigating, believe it or not. So instead of triangulating where you need to go, you can also use uh, straight line of sight and directional pinpoints to get uh, your location. So this is really handy. I got the Silva Ranger Compass. This is one of the better compasses on the market for its price range. I like it because it's lightweight, durable, has a lot of features, got a good scale on it. It also has an adjustment for declination and uh, the sighting mirror is pretty accurate in my experience. So on the right side of my belt is things that I need to use with my right hand or most likely to use with my right hand. So I have a pair of ASP disposable cuffs. These are polymer, so they're not gonna rust. Unlike my metal ones, my metal ones I keep inside my pack. Um, but I don't keep them out in the weather because they rust pretty quickly, even with the, uh, the chrome plating. And in this, I have a VanQuest uh, organizer here. This is attached with malice clips from Tactical Tailor, so they're not gonna come out really sturdy. But this is basically my survival pouch. So I have little things like, uh, you know, an old card that I have some Gorilla tape wrapped around, so I always have at least a little bit of duct tape, which is good for a million and a half different things. I have a space blanket just in case. And then on this side, it's just a bunch of little tools that I've uh, tied together so it's harder to get lost. This is basically my signal kit. So in here, I have a, uh, a glass signal mirror as well as a tops signal whistle. And then I have my ferro rod and the fire steel sheath and I have these on my store. The good thing about this is that it keeps the, um, the actual rod from snapping and breaking and getting damaged. And then there's already another whistle on that. So I got two whistles for whatever reason, in case I'm getting super lost, I guess. And then uh, just a little bit of uh, a glasses lens cleaner. I have another fire starter. This one has magnesium in it. So if things are a little bit wet or I'm having a little bit of trouble getting stuff lit, um, I could shave off a little bit of magnesium. I have a small through night flashlight. This is a AAA battery uh, model, so it's really lightweight, pretty bright, and this has actually saved my butt in the Amazon when my main flashlight went out. But I still had this, so I was rock and roll. Small can opener, because it's always good to have, and then nail clippers just in case I get a hang nail um, or a nail breaks and I need to cut it off because it's snagging on things. So that's pretty much that. So this is the face of the backpack. I like to keep it pretty simple and not cluttered up, but I have some essentials on it. So the first thing is the Eberly Stock butt bucket. This is something that I added uh, towards the end of the season when I was hiking more with a rifle. And it allows you to put your butt of the rifle right there and then secure it at the top using the ripcord. And that way you can hike hands-free, navigate difficult terrain without having to carry a rifle and worry about it. 
The other thing that I have is a rifle saddle. This one's made by Sotec, and it just allows a little bit more stability and consistency when you're shooting from your bag. This is gonna keep your rifle a lot better in place. So Everly Stock has this really nice deep pocket that the Molly webbing is attached to. And so there's two things that I keep in there. One is a spare magazine. So this is a 20 round uh, 7.62 magazine and you can use any magazine really because it's quite a big pocket. You can put probably five of these in there. And then another thing that I have in there is a you dig it little uh, shovel. So if you gotta go to the bathroom, these are good to go. So you can leave no trace, kind of keep it incognito, hide your human scent. And as long as you don't touch uh, human waste or anything like that, with this, this is also good to cook with. So if you're using coals from a fire, you can use this to kind of move it around. All right, so in the brain of the backpack, I don't have very much, but they are pretty important things, I think. So the first thing is my first aid kit. This has pretty much everything that I've ever run into in the backcountry. This is made by VanQuest as well. So I have everything stored in a lock sack bag to keep it, you know, bug safe, waterproof, all that stuff. Uh, really important to keep your things dry and clean because you don't want to be putting bad stuff on your wounds. That's really bad. Extra contacts, bug spray, and then on the outside, I have some quick clot in case I'm really bleeding. Also in here, I have a cleaning kit for my pistol. For the 40 caliber, I have the rods, the brushes, the mops, pretty much everything I need minus the lube. And then a simple torch lighter. This one's made by Optimus called the Bernie. Easy to use with gloves. So, no brainer. And so on the left side of the pack again, because I don't want to keep my right hand occupied, I have my hydration system. This is the Camelback system. Pretty simple. It's got an on off switch, bite valve, bite valve cover. And then I have it strung up all the way through here um, in the side sleeve. So this setup is really geared for the rifleman. When I'm in the shooting position using my backpack as a rest, everything that I'm likely to ever need while I'm, I'm hunkered down is obtainable using my support hand. So the pouch that's on the left side of my belt, all those tools in there, accessed by my left hand, as well as my first aid kit right at the top of the backpack, my bean bag support, my water, spare magazines, everything that I need can be obtained using my left hand. So my right hand can stay on the rifle where it's needed the most. All right, so that is my backpack setup. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page and other social media. It really helps you know these are the kind of videos you wanna see. But as always, take care out there, bye.